into your top headlines. Nicole Lynn, president of football operations at Clutch Sports, continues to make history. Lynn has just snagged her client Jalen Hurts a five-year $255 million extension with the Eagles, which makes him the highest paid player in NFL history. Oh my gosh, what can she do? Nothing. She is killing it. But one of my favorite things about this is that a couple months ago she tweeted, does anyone know where I can get a Brinks truck, please? <laughs> uh, insinuating that there's some money on the way. And then she just tweeted when she she sealed the deal this week, found one, got yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, Nicole Lynn is that girl. The Boston Marathon took place this past weekend and Emma Bates is the top American woman finisher, taking fifth place with a time of two hours, 22 minutes and 10 seconds. This time officially qualifies her for the 2024 Paris Olympics. And she broke a record too, so flawlessly. She is now the second fastest American woman to ever finish the Boston Marathon. So. Wow. Team Emma, yes, all the way. Yes, huge congratulations to Emma. <laughs> Brianna Stewart led her Turkish basketball team, Fenerbahce, to its first ever EuroLeague Women Championship with a 99-60 win over Merson. Stewie was responsible for 35 points, which broke Diana Taurasi's previous record for most points scored in a modern EuroLeague Women's Final. Not only did they win, but this was the most lopsided win in decades. They kept coming up second, but now they finally got gold because they got players like Brianna Stewart, Courtney Vandersloot, Emma Mieseman. They kept coming up second to a team that had Brianna Stewart, right, right. Courtney Vandersloot, Emma Mieseman. So now that they're on Fernabache, they got gold. Woo. I'm happy for them. Bravo, girls. <laughs> and that is everything you needed to know.